So 7.1 is, we're going to start talking about the standard normal curve. It's a probability distribution for continuous variables. It's a continuous probability distribution. This one's the normal distribution. It's the most widely used. So it has this bell-shaped curve to it. The mean, median, and mode are equal. They're in the middle. It's bell-shaped and symmetric around the mean. The total area under the curve is 1 because it's a probability distribution. The area is totaled to 1. There are infinitely n many normal distributions with, with their own mean and standard deviation. So the standard normal distribution, we have the z-score formula to translate into this number line where 0 is the mean and it's 1, 2, or 3 standard deviations above or below mean. So here, again, this is the norm, a normal distribution. It's got this bell shape, mean, median, and mode are in the middle. It's symmetrical around the middle or the mean. The Z formula translate this to this basic number line where 0 is at the mean and we're 1, 2 to 3 standard deviations above or when we go negative, we're below. And it's important to remember all the area under the curve totals 1 because it is a probability distribution. So in 7.1 we're just going to be reading this normal distribution using a table. You can also use technology but this is how do I read this table. This is my normal distribution. Here's my z values are here. They go out to two decimal places. The table reads in this direction. So it gives you the area to the left of whatever z value you have. There's four different ways to read the table, and we're going to go over those. So to the left of a z value is going to be less than or to the left of. So I go to that z, 1.25. If I want the area to the left of it, I want all this shaded region. So this is exactly how my table reads. So I'm just going to use the reading right off the table when I want the region to the left of a value. So I'm going to go to the positive z side. If my number is 1.25, here are my ones and my tenths. I'm going to go down to 1.2. In this top column, I'm going to go out to my hundredths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, where they meet is the area shaded up to that point, 0.8944 is the shaded area up to that value. If I want to the right of a z value, I want greater than that value. I'm going to go to that z value wherever it is. Here it's negative 2.15. But if I want to the right of it, I'm shading this side. So how do I use my table to get this reading? Because the table only gives me this. But remember, the area under the curve is 1. So I'm going to take the 1 whole and minus this to be left with what's shaded. So at negative z, negative 2.15z, I go to the negative z side, go down to negative 2.1 over to 5 where they meet 0 0.0158. I'm going to take the whole table minus that to get what's left over.
one minus or a dollar minus point zero one five eight is going to be point nine eight four two of the area is shaded under the curve. Next, if I have two Z readings, I could have be asked for the regions between or outside of the two values. So if I want to the right of or greater than Z 0 0.25 and to the left of or less than 1.34, I want to the left of 1.34, but to the right of. So this, I want the shaded region between these two values. So if I want a region between, I'm going to use my table like this. I'm going to get the larger one, and then I'm going to take the smaller one and subtract it to be left with the area in between. So I'm going to do big minus small. So at positive 1.34, 0 0.9099, that's this reading. Then I'm going to take away this one to be left with the area in between. So I'm going to 0 0.25, and that's 0.5987 and I'm left with 0.3112 of the area shaded under the curve. Or I could be looking for the area outside of two values. If I want to the left of or less than negative 254, that's over here, and to the right of or greater than positive 254, what I'm going to have to do is get them separately and add them together because I want the area outside of two values. So here, because it's left, I take the reading from the table. Here, because it's right, I'm going to do 1 minus the table reading. Then I have to add those two tails together separately. So negative 2.54 is 0 0.055. Sorry, 0 0.0055. Positive 2.54 is Add those two separate tails together. To get the area shaded. These are the same value because this is symmetrical and these are both 2.54, but it's not always the case. So again, four different ways to read the table. If it's to the left of a value, it's right off the table. If it's to the right or greater than, because the table gives me this, I need to do one whole minus the table reading. If it's between two values, I need the larger one, take away the smaller one to be left with the region in between. And if it's 
outside two values, I need to get them separately and add them together. So table, one minus the table, and add them together.